హాయ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఫస్ట్ స్టడీస్ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ దిస్ ఈస్ పార్ట్ నైన్ ఇన్ అజు డేటాబ్రిక్స్ ప్లేలిస్ట్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ డేటాబ్రిక్స్ ఫైల్ సిస్టమ్ ఇన్ అజు డేటాబ్రిక్స్ సో ద మెయిన్ ఎజెండా ఈస్ టు నో అబౌట్ డేటాబ్రిక్స్ ఫైల్ సిస్టమ్ ఇన్ అజు డేటాబ్రిక్స్ ఆన్ హై లెవెల్ హౌ టు బ్రౌజ్ దిస్ డేటాబ్రిక్స్ ఫైల్ సిస్టమ్ యూజింగ్ యూఐ అండ్ ఆల్సో హౌ టు అప్లోడ్ డేటా ఇన్ టు దిస్ డేటాబ్రిక్స్ ఫైల్ సిస్టమ్ సో లెట్స్ ట్రై టు అండర్స్టాండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ దిస్ డేటాబ్రిక్స్ ఫైల్ సిస్టమ్ డేటాబ్రిక్స్ ఫైల్ సిస్టమ్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ లైక్ ఎ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూటెడ్ ఫైల్ సిస్టమ్ that is mounted into your databricks workspace and also available on the databricks clusters so what i mean by this is uh, you think like this is like a storage which which works like a file system that means folders files folders files so similar kind of structure called file system so this is like a file system which is available on your databricks workspace and also on your databricks clusters so by default what will happen right whenever you create a databricks workspace a databricks file system will be created so you can think like like this is like inbuilt storage of that particular databricks workspace you can think like that and you can keep the data there and you can play with the data you can load the data there you can read data from there everything you can do that but in practical scenarios it is not recommended to use this databricks file system storage for your real time data or for your production data so for practice purpose and for learning purpose you can make use of this storage to keep the files and read the files and write the files and all but in but in the real case or in the production data you should not go with it you should try to have your own dedicated uh, data lake storage or some other storage and try to mount that storage into databricks workspace so when i say mount the meaning of mount is nothing but like attaching okay so here also this databricks file system is also one storage which is actually behind the scenes uh, created on top of a blob storage actually so this storage will be mounted to databricks workspace that means that storage will be attached with your workspace when you create it so in short it is like a built in storage available for your databricks workspace and that storage will be like a file file system that means folder file structure and inside this databricks file system storage you will have couple of uh, folders by default actually so like file store folder and also databricks data sets folder databricks results folders so these folders will come by default and the databricks uh, dbfs root is the uh, root directory of that file system okay so let me practically show you this if all this is not making sense at this moment so let me go to browser so i have a databricks account called adb mahir and uh, i clicked this launch workspace button to launch my databricks in the new tab so this is my databricks uh, account here let me go here and go to menu options here let me select this expand so that this menu will always be in a expand mode so now here so to before explaining this databricks uh, file system let me create one cluster here let me go to compute create cluster and uh, here let me name it like maybe like a demo cluster okay so demo cluster is my cluster name and uh, i am selecting single node because this is only for the uh, learning purpose and i am trying to keep after uh, 20 minutes uh, i want to make sure my cluster to terminate if it if there is no activity so let me hit this create cluster button to create this cluster so cluster will get create so meanwhile uh, let me go to my uh, create button here and then let me create a new notebook here so let me name this notebook as like maybe dbfs demo notebook okay and uh, by default language python i have selected and we need to attach a cluster whenever you try to create a notebook or whenever you want to run the notebook so let's select the same cluster whatever i am creating here let me hit this create button to create this notebook as well so my notebook will be created automatically inside my own directory so if you have seen my previous videos you know that if you go to workspace there is a special uh, folder called users if i come back here so there is a special folder called user under which i have my own uh, special folder so there my notebook will be created so if i go here see uh, one second it will be i think here see dbfs demo notebook so that's fine so now as i said this databricks file system will contain uh, some folders by default right so how to see that so firstly before seeing that uh, before knowing about these folders a little bit how to access this database file system from the ui let's try to understand that to access the database file system actually you need to make sure you have some permissions in for your workspace or you have you should have some settings enabled so that you can access it what i mean to say is if i go here if i go to data menu actually under the data menu uh, here you can uh, see a data dbfs menu will be come, come here and when you click that from there you can browse it but here it is not coming right so what you need to do admin should make sure on your workspace he should enable that ui uh, browsing capability of the databricks file system how to do that let me go to the browser here uh, if you go to settings there is something called admin console go to admin console and under the admin console go to workspace settings 
under the workspace settings if you scroll down there is something called advanced settings under the advanced settings databricks file browser so you need to enable this so let me enable this setting here the moment i enable it it is asking me to refresh the browser first before making sure uh, you see that settings so let me hit this refresh button to refresh my browser so now browser is getting refresh once the browser will get refresh i will see my databricks file system from the data menu as well so if i go to data menu here now now you can see i can see dbfs here so select this dbfs see under dbfs file store is one default folder it is showing so this is the this is the root directory slash or you can use like dbfs colon hyphen as well i mean i will practically show you that so under that you have right now only file store but in the slide if you see i have mentioned uh, there is something called file store folder and also there is something called databricks data sets databricks results so you can see only this folder other folders will not appear but actually this folder right data sets folder this will contain some sample data sets which is publicly available for you to play with the data so that means uh, you no need to create your own data to play with or to practice with the databricks some sample data covid data and other data will be available already available for, for you you can take the data and you can play with it i will discuss about this more in detail but that will be not visible from the ui browser here so how to see that let me do one thing for that let me go to my workspace and then let me try to open my notebook here so let me go to users folder and my folder so let me hit this uh, dbfs demo to open my notebook here so sometimes right when you click that open notebook so it will take little time so let's wait for it and here so there is something called dbfs utils so this is like a python library that will help you uh, to access uh, the data from the db uh, databricks file system actually actually db utils okay not dbfs uh, there is something called fs means file system and then you you use your command so ls is like list the folders from the root directory so root directory means you can mention like this slash also so now let me hit this shift enter to run this cell so this is going to list me under root directory what and all the folders it is there as per the presentation if you remember i mentioned like these are all the folders will be available and if you see the result see it has a file store it has databricks data sets it has databricks results so all these folders will be available well, but from the ui you can see only files file store okay so that that's how it will be so let me use this display function here to display it properly in a tabular in a tabular fashion see path name size you can see these are all the folders available under the root directory you can even use like this dbfs colon slash so i can even use this so this is like pointing to the dbfs root directory so now let me hit this shift enter to run this cell again see the same thing as i said this folder you can see from the ui but uh, this folders also will be available if you want to see inside this uh, databricks data sets what data you have you can take this path and here you can attend the append that so inside this databricks data sets folder i want to list down all the files or folders available so let me hit shift enter to run the cell once again and uh, you can see the command is executing here and you can see under this data sets folder you have all these data sets uh, okay so so that's what all these data sets are like a public data sets available for you to play with the data okay so we will discuss about this uh, more in detail in our upcoming videos so let me go back to presentation and also there is one more folder called databricks results so this folder will hold the results whatever you download from your cell outputs actually and this file store is the main folder under which you actually import your data for example if you want to upload some file to that folder uh, and play with the data so this is the folder under which you usually place the data okay so let me go to my uh, databricks workspace here so now let's try to understand how to upload the data so as i said we will be discussing about how to upload the data into the databricks file system so there are two ways to upload one is from the data menu you need to go to the dbfs and then hit this upload button and another way is uh, from the notebook itself you can use this file menu and upload the data so let me practically show you this so let me go to here let me go to data menu here and under dbfs you need to hit this upload button so the moment you hit this upload button it will show this dialog and here you can click here to browse the file or you can drag drag and drop the file also here so now maybe i want to upload uh, let me go to the sample fi uh, files and here i have a file called maybe uh, empla any file so like demo file.csv so let me select this i am uploading this file it, it 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 uploaded let me hit this done button and uh, if you see under file store now let me double click this under tables this file got uploaded and not only from here as i said from the notebook also you can upload it click this file menu here the down arrow and then click this upload data and here right it is by default selected under file store under this folder under this folder it is trying to upload the 
file if you want you can remove it if these folders are not available it will create these folders and upload the file okay it is up to you whether you want to change this where you want to keep it and all so let me hit this drop files uh, area here now uh, let me go to the sample files and this time maybe let me upload there is a file called employee.csv maybe in my system yeah this one let me select this and let me hit this open button to upload this file you can see file uploaded let me hit next button the moment you do that what will happen it will also give you a python code to take that file data into a data frame so let me copy this code and uh, let me hit this done button and then here in the in the second cell uh, let me paste that code see what is happening spark is like a spark session and there is a uh, read read attribute and there is a format function where you can define the format of the file option function where you can say okay header is true some all the options and load function to which you need to pass the location of the file you can see dbfs under dbfs uh, storage under file store folder so under this path there is a employees.csv file i want to load that entire file into this data frame variable so that means all the data will be loaded into this data frame variable and uh, the moment i display let me use this code here so let me okay so i did the shift enter that means uh, now data is getting read uh, getting read from this file and it is getting loaded into this data frame now in the below cell what i am doing maybe i am using a display function and to the display function i am passing my data frame now let me hit shift enter to run this cell and let's wait for the execution to complete see cell executed and you can see i got the data from that fail actually this fail has some a lot of data actually all the dummy data but but that's it you got it right so this code is trying to read this csv file and load it into this data frame so this is how actually you can upload the file into by uh, data bricks file system using this file menu as well so i hope you got an idea basic idea about data bricks file system now uh, thank you for watching this video Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.